whenever we publish an article on log c some of our readers always ask us to create a video guide so here we are trying our hands on creating the first long video guide for log c if you are not able to explain something you can always fall back to our written article that you can find in the youtube video description in today's video we are going to cover the agenda plugin agenda is a powerhouse plugin that lets you manage all your tasks and projects inside log c the plugin integrates tasks with calendar to help you better plan your time it has a nifty dashboard that keeps track of completed and pending tasks here's a look at everything that you get with the agenda plugin a beautiful dashboard calendar view for your tasks tasks and event creation from calendar view separate calendar view for each project combined calendar view giving you a full picture google and apple calendar integration built in pomodoro timer and a review function that lets you visualize data in easy to read graphs the first thing we need to do is to install the agenda plugin in your logsec directory to do that first click on the three dot icon now go to plugins go to marketplace and search for agenda click on the install button to install the plugin before we get into our guide let's first see how you can open the agenda plugin in your logsec the first and the easiest method is to use the agenda plugin icon in the top toolbar it looks like a shooting star so just click on it and it will open the plugin as you can see it's empty right now because we have not added any task if you have already some task in your daily notes page they might appear here if you don't see the shooting star icon it might be you have not pinned the plugin in your toolbar to do that click on the plugin icon now click on the pin icon and it should appear the second way to access agenda is using the command palette in logsec if you are using a mac you can access it using the keyboard shortcut command shift and p here search for agenda and press enter to open it the third and the easiest way to open it is by using the keyboard shortcut control shift and s to get out of agenda mode either hit the escape key or click the power icon at the bottom left corner let's first understand some of the ui elements of agenda so we will open agenda using our control shift s keyboard shortcut now the first thing you see is the dashboard the dashboard is the home page of the agenda plugin it shows you all the pending tasks in your daily and project notes that are due today it also has a running counter of all the completed tasks allowing you to easily keep track of what's done and what's pending the second view is the calendar view here you can see your task plotted on a calendar as you can see you can change the calendar view between daily weekly two weekly and monthly the third and the fourth view are the gantt view and the timeline view we don't use this much but if you are into project management and make use of gantt timeline you can use that here the next view is the daily log view that keeps track of tasks you have added to your daily log journal whenever you create a task or event using agenda's calendar view it adds it under the daily log subheading on your general page the daily log view will help you filter out those tasks here we will talk about all these views in the coming sections where we will teach you how to use them so don't worry if you don't understand anything right now the next tab is the review tab which is one of our favorite features of agenda it keeps track of all your completed tasks and is a great way to visualize your time spent on task the next is the settings menu and the button below it takes you back to your logsec directory The agenda plugin is highly customizable. You can customize the color of the events, calendar view, theme and more. Here are some of the basic things we recommend you customize before proceeding with the guide. Again, we'll open agenda using our keyboard shortcut and go to settings to customize our agenda view. The first thing you should see is the theme section. Here, you can change the theme from auto to light to dark, whichever you prefer. Let's keep it at light right now. in the light theme you get two option the green view and the purple uh, we prefer the green so we'll keep it at green but you can change it to purple if you want one of the most important customization setting is the home page as we said by default when you open agenda it opens your dashboard but if you want it to open your calendar or gantt view or timeline view or anything else this is where you can change it we like the dashboard view so we will keep the same now When you create a task in agenda if you don't assign it a specific time slot it will create the task for half an hour if you want to change that behavior 
you can change it here we prefer our task to be up one hour at least so we will change that here now going to the calendar view section the weekly view is the best way to view your calendar but if you want daily two weeks or monthly you can keep it here we will change it to weekly you can start your weekday since we start the working on monday we'll change it to monday the next thing you should change is your pomodoro timer if you don't know about Pomodoro timers, it's basically a way to do work where you work for 25 minutes and take a break for 5 minutes. By default, the time is 25 minutes. But if you want, you can change it here. Now, we have set up agenda plugin as we like and we are ready to get started with work. The easiest way to capture tasks in agenda is by using it to your daily notes. Agenda logs all the tasks you create in your daily note. So, let's start by creating a task. If you have never done this before, you can add a slash command to add a task. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut control enter or command enter to add a task. We have added two tasks. So let's see how it appears in agenda. If you notice agenda has a journal section that logs all the tasks you create in your daily notes page. Here you can see the task. Since we have not assigned any time to the task, we will see the task has been added as an all day task. You can see the same in the calendar view also. They are appearing in the all day section. Suppose we don't want the task to appear in all day and want to appear at a specific time. To do that, we will use time in front of the task in a specific format. The time format is this. You have to start the start time and the end time separated by a dash. Agenda uses a 24 hour clock, so you don't need to add AM or PM. Let us understand it better by adding time to a task we have already added. Suppose I need to pick my kids at 4 PM in the evening. I will add 4 PM. And suppose it takes me one hour to drive there and pick them up and come back. So we'll make it 5 PM. Now, when you open the task in agenda, you will see that we have a assigned time in the calendar view it will also appear at the correct time so you have learned the basic of creating and logging tasks in agenda but what if you want to schedule a task in agenda to schedule a task first create a task so we'll create a task of buying milk now to schedule it you can use two methods the first method is to use the built-in schedule tool in logseek we will use the slash command to access the schedule feature. Now you can schedule the task as you want. If you don't add any time, agenda will consider it this as an all day task. But since we are not doing it for the entire day, let us just add time here. You will notice that there's no end time in the log seek scheduler feature. So agenda will use our default event duration. If you remember, we used one hour as our default event duration. So Agenda should set this task for one hour. Let's check. Don't get confused if the task doesn't appear in your dashboard. It's because the dashboard only shows you your task for the day. So let's go to our calendar view and see. And here is the task we added and it has appeared in the correct date and the correct time. Another way to schedule task in agenda is by using the agenda scheduler. Suppose we want to buy the bread also. We'll use agenda modify schedule option and hit enter so this is how agenda scheduler looks you can see we have a project section since we have not created any projects right now we'll leave it to journal because we want to add it to the daily notes then we have the task name and then we have the start and the end time if you want to add the start and end time first select no now you will get the option to schedule your task we'll click here we'll select the date we'll select the time Click on OK. You'll see the end time has already selected to our default task duration of one hour. But if you want, you can change it to anything you want. Now we'll click on OK. As you will see, Agenda has created a daily log page and added a task below it. It's because any task you create in Agenda is added to the daily log section. You can see it by opening the Agenda view. We'll go to the calendar and we'll go to the 14th and here's our task. Another way to create tasks in agenda is using the calendar view. We are already here. 
So like you create an event in Google Calendar, you can create a task in Agenda from here. Just click and drag on the section you want to create a task and then it will open the task scheduler. Here we will select the journal as the section. We will name it a task. Since we have already selected the start and end time, we will leave it at that. We will check the all day event for no and click on OK to add the task. So now let's learn how you can reschedule a task in Agenda. Rescheduling a task in Agenda is also very easy. If you have already used the scheduled feature, you can just click on it and change the time and date to reschedule it. Another way to reschedule task is by using Agenda's modify scheduler. So we'll use the slash command to bring up modify schedule. Like before, you can choose the time and date to reschedule it. You can also reschedule task from the calendar view. So we will open Agenda and go to our calendar view. There are two methods that you can use to reschedule a task using the calendar view. The first is to click on the task to reveal the edit button. Click the edit button and now you can change the start and end time and reschedule it however you want. Another method is by using a drag and drop feature. So suppose we want to reschedule this task from 5 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So we'll just pick this task up and take it to 2 o'clock. Similarly, we can drag it to any other time we want to reschedule it. By now, you have learned the basics of the Agenda plugin, how you can install it, how you can customize it, and how you can use it to manage tasks in LogSync. So let us end this video here because it's already more than 10 minutes long. In the next video, we will cover how you can create projects inside Agenda, how you can track time you spent on projects, and how you can integrate Google and iCloud Calendar to see all your tasks and events in one place. If you want to see that video, please let us know in the comment section. If you found this guide useful, a like and subscribe would be nice. Again, if you have any confusion or you want to read the entire guide at one time, you can find the link for the written guide in our YouTube description. We hope you enjoyed this guide. We'll see you in the next video.